don't know nothing about this. You need to pay attention. Sit back and relax. It's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. All right, we're over here off of uh, Brownsboro Road and Chamberlain Lane at Tandoori Fusion Indian Restaurant. Before I get started, I just want to say today is the first day, Friday the 20th, that uh, the restaurants have been ordered to shut down indoor dining. So I'm starting off today stressing and pleading with everybody. We need to get out and support these family-owned restaurants and do our part. And the ones that are able, I understand people that, you know, are in hard times. I'm not trying to pressure you into going out and spending money, but we need to get out and do our part. And I'm gonna get into some of this Indian food today, so let's go ahead and check it out. Okay, before the food gets here, I just wanted to show everybody that uh, Tandoori Fusion got ahead of the game and they are set up really well, got plenty of outdoor seating. They've even got plastic walls set up over there to where these heaters keep all the heat. And by the way, I have my, my guest camera person here today, Mr. Graham. For all you kids at Eastern that are missing Mr. Graham, get to see him today. And like I said, plenty of seating here. All right, food's here. And I actually got a couple things. I got this, they say it's an appetizer, but it's actually meal in itself. And while I'm getting this together, let me just tell you, I never had Indian food until about three years ago when I was at Disney World. Went to a place called uh, the Yak and Yeti. It was an Asian fusion uh, place. And once I had that, that food with those spices, I was hooked. I, uh, I get the, the, the craving for this Indian food sometimes, and I just can't get it out of my mind until I have it. But anyway... I'm going to start off with this appetizer, which is uh, this butter sauce, which that comes with their chicken, but this doesn't have chicken in it, with the basmati rice, and also comes with this uh, tandoori shrimp, which I'm going to go ahead and add into it. I don't know if it's supposed to go in it or not, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in there. And also an appetizer that came with it is this chili chicken. So I'm going to put a couple of these on the side. And let me go ahead and give this a little try here. Oh, that is excellent. Definitely, I could taste the curry. It's got a little heat build up there. It's uh, also, I taste a little garlic and it, uh, also a little tomato. There's the chili chicken I just ate. I was expecting more heat. It's not hot, but it's full of that chili flavor. I'll get back to you in just a second when we start in on the next entree. All right, so as I told you before, I'm a newbie when it comes to Indian food, relatively, and I don't really step out of my comfort zone much, but what I've been eating the last three years has primarily been chicken tiki masala. And I haven't really ventured off of that. I, I ordered that spicy, but I've never had anything else, which brings me to today, I ordered lamb, lamb vindaloo, which is more known to be spicy than other dishes. Uh, it's even got a little vinegar, curry, garlic, uh, uh, coriander and turmeric different spices so let me go ahead and get into that start loading my plate up and I ordered it extra extra Indian hot I told them to make it as hot as they could possibly get it so I'm gonna see just what they are made of here when it comes to Indian hot and of course i got a side of their naan bread which is a, a basic indian staple it's made in an oven it's called a tandoor oven which i'm sure this is what they got the name of their uh, restaurant from tandoori fusion so let me go ahead and give this lamb vindaloo
It's also got uh, red chilies in it, which I'm sure that, that's how they get the main heat. Which I can taste the heat. Let me keep eating here and see if it gives me that slow burn. You gotta be careful about bones when it comes to lamb and goat. But anyway, it's got a real good flavor. I can taste the mixture of that, that turmeric, garlic, uh, with the onion mixed in there. It's got a really good flavor. I would definitely recommend getting this again and definitely recommend Tandoori Fusion. It's gonna be a long winter with all these dining rooms shut down, but you'll be able to come here and sit on this outdoor dining patio. And Mr. Graham, uh, what'd you think about your food today? Awesome. And you got the same thing as me on this shrimp appetizer. What kind of soup was it that you got earlier? The Sambar soup. Okay. Lentil soup, carrots, squash, tomatoes, onions, awesome. Okay, well Mr. Graham, let me have a bite of that and it definitely, you could get that full curry taste in it. Very tasty. Everything I've had here today was awesome. And you just can't get those kind of spices and other kind of ethnic foods. But anyway, y'all don't know nothing about this Tandoori Fusion. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Goodall's Country Kitchen.